because you can only watch that for so long before getting really, really, really bored. Um, so, we mentioned the speed, double click on object chocolate, make the speed a bit more than 6, let's try 12, let's double for those of you who are terrible at maths, ok, new game, let's see how it goes. Yeah, that's a little bit better. Actually, you might want to start with 6 and speed up anyway, so I'll bring it back to 6. Sorry for those of you who are actually following along quickly. Alright, um... So right now we have a ball in the room bouncing around. And it's not really doing much. So we're going to make the aim of the game a ball, and that way we get points for it. I know it's boring, but it's a really, really good place to start because, yeah, if you're not used to programming, I mean, we're using a very simple program at the moment here, but, yeah. Alright, so um, double click on object chocolate again, press out event, Mouse, this is saying when you do something with the mouse in relation to that object, you want something to happen. So we'll go mouse, left button. In other words, if we click on object chocolate, we get, well, an action happens. The actions are down the side. So we'll take a look in, uh, fifth one down, I believe is score. Let's see one. Yes, fifth one down. Alright, so top left you got set score. So object left button, set score, new score you want to be one, so it increases the score by one. Now if you just leave it like that, every time you click on the ball, your score will be one. We want to make it relative, that way it is it takes your score that you currently have and it adds one. So you click on the ball once your score is 1, click on again, your score is 2, click on again, it's 3, etc. If you left it without the relative button checked, um, uh, don't click the ball, your score is 0, click it once, your score is 1, click it again, your score is still 1, click it a million times, your score is still 1. So, in other words, game is over after you click the ball. And let's face it, the game we're making is going to be boring when it's complete. So you don't think I want to make it any worse. Right, so um just select OK now, um you've got that. Press OK and take a look at what happens. So if I can click on this incredibly fast moving ball. There we go. Alright, my score's 4, so I made a mistake. Instead of left button, I should have pressed left click. I was originally thinking about that, but... Yeah, alright, so just right click on this, change event. Oh, I'm teaching something new anyway. Changing event, that's cool. Alright, so mouse, um... Left pressed. I believe in Game Maker 8 it is... No, it's left pressed in that too. My bad, alright, so... Click on left pressed, press OK. Now let's take a look at it. Okay, clicking in any random place does nothing, that's good. We click on the ball, I can actually get it. There we go, I got one point, another point. Okay, so that's working now and it's kind of entertaining for such a very simple. Anyway, so press cross. You now technically have a game, but yeah. Don't worry, I'm not going to end the first tutorial there. That'd be pretty disappointing.
Okay, so what we're going to do now, I'm just thinking of how to proceed with this. Okay, um, how about we make a level system? So, oh, this plant thing's really annoying me. Alright, uh, I'm just going to make this look a little bit better, so it's more fun to play the game. Blue. Uh, go with red and outside and blue and the inside. And it can be like that, but we want to make that a bit bigger. Okay. There we go, that looks slots a bit better. And let's just give it eyes and mouth. Yeah, I know it's obvious. I'm not a graphic designer or anything. I don't need to be. I can make this program so hard. And we'll give it a little spinny thingy so that we get bored slightly less quickly. Right, counterclockwise. Uh, we'll just go with 15 frames because we don't want the game to get too huge. Here we go. So we've got a head spinning, that's what we're clicking on now. That's a little bit more fun. Depending on how you define fun. Alright, so press OK. If you look at the game now, it looks a little bit worse to play actually. Look at that. Oh, no, it's not too bad. Okay, cool. Yeah. Alright, one point. So, you got your chocolate, you got your unicorn. Let's make a second level. So, object, create object. This one doesn't need a sprite because it's going to be an invisible thing sitting there. We're going to call it object Dumbledore. Yeah, so like Harry Potter. Uh, sprite, no sprite, it doesn't matter, it's invisible. Speak of invisible, you can make it visible if you want because you haven't got a sprite there, but if you have a sprite then you deselect it visible, then you wouldn't be able to see the sprite, which defeats the purpose of having one. Unless you go collision event, which is the reason I put that button there in the first place. So, anyway, um, go add event. Alright, step, step. A step is, I believe, in Game Maker, one tenth of a second. Um, it is game time. Nothing is, nothing happens faster than uh, one step. So, yeah, this is saying the second, the instant something happens, it will happen. So in other words, it's constantly checking for this. So we're checking for test score no, a bit too big for the first level. five. So we're equal to. So in other words, once we click on the times, we want something to happen. Make sure you go with this one, it's test score. So it's saying when the score is equal to 5 we want this, rather than make the score 5 or draw a number 5 because it is our score. Anyway, so um, if score is equal to 5 we want to go to the next room and make it a little bit fancy. We'll say um, fade out and in. I always like that. That's okay. <laughs> Yeah, I think my dad's on it. Alright, so, um, press OK. Just a second. Anyway, sorry about that. Um, you may have seen 
this little box here pop up. That's what's currently recording this. And um, the time on my computer has changed too. That's because a new program I've got composed, so I don't actually have to make multiple different videos and fuse them together with the movie maker. Okay, anyway, where we're where we're at to open object Dumbledore which is sending us to the next level. If score is equal to five, go to the next room. Yep, we've got that. We made it yeah, we gave it an animation, so you press OK. Okay, now before we can really do anything else we want to make another room. We could right click on rooms and press create room. It would be easier to just right click on room zero and duplicate it. That way we've got the layout for a level there already and we just need to add some things to it so we'll put in object chocolate there so we'll have two little faces bouncing around and object unicorn just add a couple of these to it oops no way we have a few more barriers for them to bounce into Make sure that people playing the game don't get as quickly. Oh yeah, I told you about the shift button, didn't I? I forgot it myself. Should have reminded me. Terrible. Okay. Um, that'll do. Now, if we want to speed up the level, that's simple. Go settings, and the room speed for room 0, which was level 1, that was 30, so we'll make this one 60 doubles, I want to just go with that, 45, there we go, 